Okay, folks, today we're going to make a uh, real simple and cheap aqua uh, aeroponics uh, grow pot uh, where you can do your starts or even raise a plant to full maturity. Now, you've probably seen these buckets up on YouTube. There's plenty of ways to do them. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you two ways uh, to do it. They both cost you about the same amount of money. The first thing you're going to have to do is get yourself a um, food grade five gallon bucket. Now these food grade buckets are a translucent uh, material which means it will let light into the base of the of the plant. Now you probably don't want that because you're going to have water down there, it's going to be warm especially during the summer, you're going to have nutrients and all it's going to do is grow algae. So what you want to do is you want to paint the pot, the outside of it, with a plastic uh, adhering paint, spray paint. Uh, I just picked this up down at the local grocery store and it works fairly well but if you scratch it with your fingernail it will come off. And just to show you how much light it lets in, how much you can see that down there, but right in here, I didn't paint that part. So you can see it'll let in a fair amount of light. Uh, once you get it all painted, you're going to have to decide how you want to do your, your pump. This pump here is one I created, and you've probably seen this up on YouTube also. It's a $15 pump I uh, got off Amazon. It's a little stand-up uh, stub which you can pick up at Home Depot in the uh, irrigation section and then a little sprinkler head which you can also pick up in the irrigation section. This whole thing will cost you about twenty dollars to make up. Uh, works fairly good, uh, got no problems with it. The other way if you don't want to build it is to go up to Home Depot and type in the word aeroponics and what you'll get is a replacement pump for a, a a grow bed and it's cost almost exactly the same amount as that other pump. It's $19 to order it, have it shipped to your local Home Depot store and then just pick it up there. There's no shipping fees. This uh, it might be a little bit low depends on uh, sitting a little bit low in the unit depending on what you want to do but you can always put something there to prop it up a little bit. And uh, It does throw water fairly well uh, the sprinkler heads can be adjusted, I guess, if you want to. But it looked like I pretty well did a good job. And so it's up to you whether you want to build one or just order this and have it down at your Home Depot in a week or so and put it in the bottom of the bucket and plug it in. The other thing you're going to have is your... Um, oh, I like to tell you. If you don't want to paint, there's these... You can... I did this one last year and it's covered with a five gallon grow bag. All you do is uh, go up on Amazon, pick up a five gallon grow bag, make sure it's white on the exterior and black on the interior and then just slice it down the side and wrap it around and tape it. That covers most of the pot. You're still going to have problems in here with light getting in but it does cover most of the pot. Next thing you're going to have to do is a lid. And these lids for the food grade buckets come with a gasket in here to keep air from entering or for leakage of liquid, whatever. Uh, when you put these on, they snap down tight and they're a real booger to get off with your bare hands. So I suggest when you pick up the bucket, the bucket's about two sixty-eight. This is a dollar sixty-eight, I think, I paid, and this is about a buck fifty. This is nothing more than a, a lid opener. You put it underneath here and pop it up when you want to open it up at the end of the season. Next thing you're going to have to decide is what size net pot you want. This one's set up for a four-inch net pot. Uh, I intend to grow just one uh, super hot pepper in here. Uh, I'm not going to make up a whole bunch of these. I personally I like uh, using uh, hydroponics better for a larger scale operation because you'll go broke buying these things up and putting pumps in them. But I do want to do a single one or two uh, 
plants for a season. It works fairly well. And if you want to just do it for starts, it works fairly well there too. Uh, you can set up for one four inch pot. That's a three and a half inch hole. These are set up for uh, three inch pots. You can get five of them in there for your, for a, your plant starts um, or whatever else you want to do. It's really fairly easy to mark out. I just took, take the, the nut pot, put it down, and the center is no problem because it's going to be marked for you already. Just drill, just drill your, uh, I think it's two and three quarter inch hole, two and a half inch hole through there, and the pot will drop right in. Over here, just mark them, and then you can find the center, drill through. Yeah, the pots will just drop right in like this. And you can load it up with whatever medium you're going to use, the clay, pebbles, uh, whatever. Once you have that drilled, you're going to want to make another hole for your cord to come out for the pump. And then once you drill the hole for the cord, this is a 3 8 inch hole, you're going to want to take a utility knife and cut it back to the main hole so that you can you can maybe you can see that you can take it and take the cord and just slide it in there and then snap this back together. Once that's done you're gonna have the cord coming out of here. You're gonna need a way to see how know how much water is it how much fluid is in your bucket. You'll see on some of these other ones on YouTube that they actually drill a hole through, come out with a, an elbow and then up with a piece of clear plastic tube so that whatever level levels in the buck, bucket will be shown out here. Now, I for one don't like to drill holes in buckets. There's still one piece for a reason, that's to keep them sealed up. But what I do, is you can go down to your local fish store. This is a 1 8 inch piece of rigid tubing. You can get that in your local fish store. And you just cut it down to whatever size you want, as long as it's above the top of the, the pot. Drill a quarter inch hole. This is a, yeah, this is a 3 6 inch tubing. So I drill a quarter inch tube hole in the, in the pot and just insert it down into here. Now, Whenever you want to know what's in there, all you do is put your finger over the top, pull it up, and the level, whatever level of liquid is in there will be in the tube until you release your finger. So what you're going to want to do is when you put your, put your liquid in there, put your pump in there, and then go to whatever level you're going to want your liquid to be and mark it with a uh, indelible pen. And then and then uh, once you do that, you might want to come out and score it with a file because I don't know whether the ink is going to stay on there as the, the liquid comes in and out and gets thrown around by the, by the, the spray head. Uh, you can pretty much know how much liquid you're going to need by when you first fill this thing up, measure the amount of liquid going in and then you can divide that down by ounces and you'll pretty well know that you know, here to here is 64 ounces, and you'll know if it's in the middle and you need to add 30 some ounces, 32 ounces of uh, makeup order and uh, nutrients so that the things can have, have something to live on because there is no soil in here. There is no soil associated with it, just water and nutrients. So that's what you're going to want to do as far as that goes. Your four inch net pot will fit right in here, which I can't find right at the moment, but it's around here somewhere. Clamp it down, fill it up with your liquid, turn it on, and once it's, once it's running, you're going to want to hook this thing up to a timer if you're not going to have it running consistently. You'll have, want to have this come on maybe once every hour, hour and a half for 15 minutes, or a half hour Two hour, every two hours for a half hour, whatever your timer is capable of. But you're going to want to come on, have it come on fairly constant to have the roots wet down. 
Uh, if you're doing peppers in here, the amount of roots I found are completely dependent on what type of pepper you have growing. Things like uh, super hot, the, the maruga peppers generate a ton of roots. And it'll probably fill up the whole bucket by the end of the season. The other ones like uh, Santa Fe Grande, to me they don't seem to generate quite as many roots and maybe half the bucket will be roots by the, by the time you uh, get done the season. But at any rate, it'll work well. Uh, just make sure you, you paint the bucket up. Oh, and if it's going to be in direct sun, paint in a dark color and then paint right over it with some white paint so it's reflective. Otherwise this thing will heat up and it'll do, a, do the solar thing and cook your roots in the, of the plant and kill it. Uh, or just let it go completely and see what happens with the algae. I'm not sure whether the algae is going to be dangerous or not. Probably not. But it's just kind of unsightly when it, when, it, when you're, this thing's growing and you can see the green algae creeping up the side. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, total, this whole thing, you can make it up for maybe $30. If you want to order one up on Home Depot, you can get it for about $52. Come ready to go. It's set up with, uh, I think, 3-inch net pots and the 5-hole arrangement. It's up to you. And I'm sure once you get the bucket, you can head down to your local grocery store and find a, a lid similar to this we don't have any holes in it and if you want to drill your own holes for a new lid probably work just fine just take off the old lid and put the new one on uh, that bucket that you, the one that you get up on Home Depot is black also uh, just type in the word aeroponics into the search engine on uh, Home Depot and it'll come right up for you that's about it I uh, hope you uh, like what you saw thank you for watching and one up. Let us know how it worked out for you. Other than that, have a great day and get out there and grow something. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, I decided to bring this outside and show you it up and running. You can probably see that the water is splashing out in that cup, which is good, which is what you want. That is one of the problems I came into when I uh, started this up. We, um, when you look inside, you can see that it's running fine, but when I put it, when I turned it on, when it was sitting on the bottom of the pot, it was too short. The water would not splash up and hit the nut pot, so I was forced to put in a uh, two-inch ceramic dish out of the uh, my, my cupboard here, which was a dog dish at one time, and put the pump on top of that. So I wound up with about two gallons of water total in the bottom of the bucket. Now you can do the same thing or you can uh, use the other pump that I showed you. you can give me a second, I'll be right back and I'll show you what that one looks like. Okay, I'm not going to get too close to this thing, but as you can see, it shoots way more water than the other one. So you're going to have a lot more flow. Uh, there would be no need for uh, stand up on this pump since it could uh, you could just adjust the height of the sprinkler nozzle to whatever you want uh, if I would say this would probably be the better of the two options since you'll be able to uh, use more water before it runs dry and the other pump is so short that you only get a short throw of water before uh, the plant itself will use it up and you'll have to put more water in. And during the summer you're going to be doing that constantly as the plant soaks up water and throws the water vapor into the air. So there you have it, that's how they look. Um, let us know what you think.